A nation which does not remember what it was yesterday does not know what it is today nor what it is trying to do. We are trying to do a futile thing if we do not know where we came from or what we have been about. The government, which was designed for the people, has got into the hands of the bosses and their employers, the special interest. An invisible empire has been set upon above the forms of democracy. We grow great by dreams. All big men are dreamers. They see things in the soft haze of a spring day or in the red fire of a long winter's evening. Some of us let those dreams die, but others nourish and protect them, nurse them through bad days till they bring them to the sunshine and light, which comes always to those who sincerely hope that their dreams will come true. Liberty has never come from government. Liberty has always come from the subjects of it. The history of liberty is a history of limitations of governmental power, not the increase of it. There can be no equality or opportunity if men and women and children be not shielded in their lives from the consequences of great industrial and social processes which they cannot alter, control, or singly cope with. By radical, I understand one who goes too far. By conservative, one who does not go far enough. By reactionary, one who won't go at all. America was established not to create wealth, but to realize a vision, to realize an ideal, to discover and maintain liberty among men. 